Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Lavi Ban Jaffis Tech and today I am here for class for English version students. So dear students, today our subject is elementary mathematics and today I am going to show you some important word problems for this for the specific pages. So let's start. So class 4 elementary mathematics page 30 to 33. So dear students, I am going to show you all the word problems between the pages 30 to 33. So let's start. So at first we have a word problem from page 30. A school has 2793 boys and 2631 girls. How many students are there in total? So students where we can see that there are many boys and many girls. So we have to find out how many students in total. So we have to add these two numbers. So let's see the solution. In a school, there are 2,793 boys and there are 2,631 girls. So if we add this, we have to add this. 3 plus 1, 4. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. 2. We have to put 2 here and keep 1 in hand. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 7, 14 keep 4 and keep 1 in hand 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 so 5424 students answer in total there are 5424 students in the school now dear students let's go to our next word problem the school has 5324 students in total and has 2793 boys how many girls are there so this is a bit different from the first one here we can see there the total number of students is given and the number of boys is given now we have to find the number of girls so let's see the solution number two here in a school there are 5324 students and there are 2793 boys so we have to subtract this if we subtract this then we get 4 minus 3 1 2 we have to think it as 12 so 12 minus 9 3 1 in hand 7 plus 1 4 then 3 then 3 uh, no, sorry it, it will be so 7 plus 5, then 2 plus 1 3 and 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 that is in total there are 2531 girls in the school so let's go to our next question answer so here is another question. There are 2450 passengers in a train. In one station, 842 passengers got off and 798 passengers got on. How many passengers are there in the train now? So let's see the answer. In the train, there were 2450 passengers and got off 842 passengers. Here got off means left the train. So we have subtracted it. After subtracting, we got remaining 1608 passengers. Then again, we have to add because we can see that 798 passengers again got on the train. So we have to add this. So in total, we get 2406 passengers. Answer in, in total, it will be in total. Sorry, there are 2406 passengers in the train now. So let's go through our next word problem. Rajiv's mother had taken 5580. Before she went to supermarket, she got taken 3420 from Rajiv's father and spent taken 7830 for her shopping. How much taken remains with her? So let's see the solution. So at first, uh, Rajiv's mother had Taka 5580 and she got Taka 3420 and we have to add this total if we add this in total 9000 and again we saw that if she spent some money shop for shopping that is 7830 so we have to subtract the remaining if we, the remaining money is 1170 000 10 minus 3 7 1 in hand 8 plus 1 9 10 minus 9 1 7 plus 1 8 9 minus 8 1 so that is 
Answer Taka 1170 remains with Rajiv's mother. Now, our fifth word problem. Some of the present ages of a mother and her daughter is 12, 112 years. 10 years ago, the daughter was 27 years old. What will be the age of the mother after 8 years from now? It is a bit critical. So, the, uh, in this question, it is a CQ type question. This is a new type of format. As you are new students or fresher, uh, in the board exam, you will get the CQ uh, creative question up to intro or college section. So, this is the start. And in a creative question, there are usually three to four questions from a passage. And here is the passage of the question. And here is the first question. Ten years ago, the daughter was 27 years old. How old is she now? So, we have to find the present age of the daughter. And it is given that ten years ago, she was 27 years old. So, given 10 years ago, the age of the daughter was 27 years. So, we have to add this 10 to pay to get the present age. So, the present age of the daughter is 27 plus 10 years is equal to 37 years. So, answer the present age of the daughter is, it will be is, sorry, it is a technical problem. I am really sorry, is 37 years. Now, our next question. How old is the mother now? So, from 1, that means from the previous question, the present age of the daughter is 27 years. And we saw that in the question that is given, the sum of the present ages of the mother and the daughter is 112 years. So, we have, if we want to find the age, present age of the mother, so we have to subtract 37 from 112. That is, the present age of the mother is 112 minus 37 years is equal to 75 years. Answer. The present age of the mother is 75 years. Now, next question. Let's find the age of the mother after 8 years. So, as we got the present age, we, have, we just have from 2, the present age of the mother is 75 years. So, we just have to add 8 with 75. That is, after 8 years, the age of the mother will be 75 plus 8 years is equal to 83 years. Answer. After 8 years, the age of the mother will be 83 years. So, in a go down, there are 8,375 sacks of sugar, 11,860 sacks of wheat, and 12,720 sacks of rice. Find the total number of sacks in the go down. So, given in a go down, there are, there are 12. 12,720 sacks of sugar and 11,860 sacks of wheat and 8,375 sacks of sugar. Oh, sorry, it will be rice and this is sugar. So, if we have to add this and we get 32,955 sacks. So, in answer, in total, there are 32,955 sacks in the go down. What number is to be added to 56,806 so that their sum will be 64,932. It is one kind of equation or problem but in the exam this question are not, this question are rarely found in the exam so it is not, not much important. So according to the question 56,806 plus as we know, don't know the number so we gave here question mark is equal to 64,932 and here what we have to do we have to take this number on the right side if we take a number from the right side if it is plus then on the right opposite side it will be minus so 64,932 minus 56,806 there is the unknown number will be 8,126 now our next question Sum of three numbers is 84,025. 84, Among these two numbers are 12,450 and 37,865. What is the third number? So we can see the sum of three numbers is given and the first and second number is given and we have to now find the third number. So here 1,200 
12,450 plus 37,865 plus question mark unknown number is equal to 84,025 or the unknown number we have, what we have done here we have added these two numbers then take it on the right side and sub that means on the right side it means plus will be minus so 33,710 so the third number is 33,710 Another question, she has struck a 390 more than that of Gita and Gita has struck a 470 less than that of Shimul. Shimul has struck a 890. How much money do she have and Gita have? So it is quite critical but very easy if you can understand it. Shimul has 890 taka, Gita has less 470 taka than Shimul. So we, have, we, we can easily find the amount of amount that gita have so gita have 890 minus 470 that is 420 taka and she has 390 taka more than gita so we have to add this then we will get she have have 810 taka so gita have taka 420 and she have have taka 810 the question Shohak bought a motorcycle by Taka 70,000. It cost 1,500 Taka for registration and Taka 800 for repairing. If he sells the motorcycle for Taka 90,000, how much profit will he get? At first, we have to add these three numbers, then subtract it from 90,000. Then we will get the amount of profit. Motorcycle is bought for 70,000 Taka. Registration cost is 1500 taka and repairing cost is 800 taka. So you have to add this total that is 72,300 taka. Then again, motorcycle is sold for 90,000 taka. Total cost is 72,300 taka. So the profit will be 17,770 taka. Uh, sorry, 17,700 taka. So answer 17,700 taka. So dear students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.